Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial. In this episode we will create our very own sprites. Make sure to open GIMP 2 and RPG Maker. Um, we will create a new project, uh, project for this tutorial. Uh, in this project we will make our own tile sets uh, our own sprites uh, and I will show you how it's done from uh, scratch so first unless you want to make it in your current project make a new project all the sprites and um, tile sets and whatever we create I will uh, make a link in the description below uh, for download uh, but it would be nice if you would join me and draw them. Go into the game folder, then to image and then characters. Find an image of characters that's full. Because this is the image size we are looking for. Uh, it is important that the image is in this exact size. Uh, then you can just delete all of the characters on the sprite sheet. And now we have an empty sheet that we can use to draw. Go to image, then to configure grid. Uh, uh, type 48 by 48. Go to view, show grid. These grids are the exact same size as the ones you find inside of RPG Maker these ones and the character we are supposed to create should be able to move around within these grids now we will just make a really simple character uh, he will sort of work as a skeleton for the coming character we will create in the end first I'll just use the circle tool to make a head use the bucket to fill it completely black and then uh, create a body for him in the same way you made a head it doesn't really need to look good now because first we will just create something simple like we're doing now and later we will uh, make him uh, better because he will now just work as sort of a skeleton for the character we will eventually create uh, this is to learn you the basics. So now that he is looking sexy, we can just copy this character, just keep him, no need to delete him. These three images are the ones he will appear in. Uh, and it goes from the top one down to uh, three, uh, three more down. So a total of... Uh, 12 images the top one should be his moving down image uh, the one under it should be his moving left I think um, and the one uh, at the bottom should be the yeah, moving up image uh, so when you draw him try to use the little tiny squares you see in the backgrounds to uh, to position him uh, so that he is positioned exactly the same in all of the three boxes or grids uh, i will show you uh, why this is important as soon as we have exported him also let's give him eyes just use the circle tool again and uh, pick the white, a white color or whatever color you want and make it um, and fill it. Copy the eye and place it in his head. Make it sort of different in all of the top images. Uh, and I will show you why very soon. It's because we want to see that the images are actually swapping so that he don't look identical on all of them uh, since we haven't drawn moving feet or arms yet uh, now we can tell that it works 
uh, the images is being swapped and it loops between those three when you hold down the down key button. Uh, you don't need to overwrite the older image, uh, so just name it something else when you export it. Uh, something that annoys me when I make new games is uh, the title music. Uh, so also make sure to remove that. Uh, yeah, I got sound now. <clears throat> so go to system and just remove it. Because it's so loud when you open it uh, the first time. Uh, when you've picked uh, the new image for your actor, uh, just play the game and try and see if the image is there. Because sometimes you will have to close your project and reopen it for the new images to load. So if you have this problem where he doesn't show, it might be because you just need to close and reopen the project. There. Look at him. Uh, so when he moves, you can see it jumps a little bit to the left. Uh, and this is because the image uh, isn't uh, proper, properly... Uh, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't uh, pronounce that word. Properly uh, positioned. If you see here, the middle image and the right image is fine. But the image uh, on the left here, he is further to the left than he is on the other two. And this is why he jumps when you move down. Because uh, he's not positioned cor correctly. So now delete him and re-paste him. Move him a little bit more to the right so he is exactly the same as his two brothers okay now export him again uh, and we can go back to the game and check if he's moving correctly now he really should uh, but if he doesn't sometimes if it's just a slight little uh, movement it can look good if you do it right yeah here you go so if you walk up he still has the same uh, flaw but if you walk down only his eyes are moving so for now it seems to work just the way we want it to he does of course still lack feet and arm movement uh, and I will cover that so let's just delete all of these characters and for now, make this a game about just this one little guy. Remove all of his facets or battle or whatever. I, I, I make a ABS game, so I'm not sure what you call those. Battlers? I don't know. Call him whatever you want. I call him Darkling. And since I want to make like this uh, dark little world in this tutorial. Um, yeah. Now you have... Uh, character that's custom made and somewhat works uh, so I think that will cover it for now in this episode and in uh, later episodes we will make all of his movement um, yeah uh, hope this helped you I hope it wasn't confusing if so hit that smash that uh, dislike button if it helped I'm glad um, tell me if there's something specific you want to know, and like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys.